Scott Brothers Duo Ho Ho Home Concert. to this special Christmas Ho Ho Home concert. Indeed, it is our Ho Ho Home concert. And yes. uh, you, you like the title after all. 
it's, it's very festive, I think. It's <laughs> it Christmas is. Eve, so we thought I could give you something really, really festive for a proper Christmas concert. It doesn't get much closer to Christmas than this. Than Christmas and Eve. What better way than to have it in our own home music room? And normally, we're often travelling around, and on Christmas Eve, I've usually done at least four concerts or carol services or played thousands and thousands of carols. Um, but it's lovely to bring you all in to our home music room and share some wonderful music in a very intimate setting. It is indeed. And we'll be performing lots of very festive music, uh, just like this next piece, Jonathan, um, which we'll be playing, which is Silent Night. Yeah, um, every every year I tend to rearrange something or do something with the something Christmassy or a Christmas carol for festive piano duets, harmonium piano, organ and piano, you name it, there's usually something. Um, but last year I did uh, Silent Night. The opening piece um, was just something which I created the other day yes. for, for this concert especially, just to use the resources we have. But Silent Night was a piano duet and I wrote it last year. Very sort of simple version. Tom will tell you a little more while I just rearrange where the piano stool goes. Absolutely. Well, it's quite a minimalist version indeed, as Jonathan has said. Um, and I really like it. I think it's just a beautiful piece of music just to play at this time of year. And uh, I really love this new arrangement, Jonathan. So let's share it with everyone now. This is Silent Night, arranged by Jonathan for four hands at one piano. Well, I hope that didn't send you to sleep. 
Um, because uh, it's not time to go to sleep, is it? No, it's, uh, Tom's very excited about Father Christmas coming, <laughs> so he probably just wants to go to sleep. Well, That's why he's talking yes. about sleep probably, so probably, much. Yes. Um, it's a very gentle version, so I hope it gives you the, the feeling of that original carol. Um, and of course, I meant to say, uh, it's been great doing these concerts, because um, over the time we've been doing them, we a real nice chance now to give you some Christmas music, because we've been doing them since March altogether, we and this are. is our 23rd online concert. It's had, and we've had quite a lot of views. I yeah, think we've had well over a million over views. A million views yeah, yeah. And, uh, thank thank been, you for watching. Yeah, th we've been to lots of venues, we've played hundreds of pieces, <laughs> and we've not managed to uh, repeat a piece we, at we all. We haven't repeated so a single one. No, and uh, <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. But, of course, one of the features that has been of our home concerts has been Tom's animations. It has. And you're going to, you've had a few premieres along the way, yes. so you're going to get another one. We had one last, the other week. Uh, Indeed. We, well, basically, we have been uh, premiering uh, my Nutcracker Suite. Now, th well, thank you very much. You might have noticed um, um, over by the uh, the bookcase that we have quite a few uh, nutcrackers on display and i was going to say thank you very much to uh, the nutcracker himself for introducing us oh you're very welcome thank you again yes and it's absolutely wonderful uh, to be able to share the nutcracker animation with you at this time of year of course um because as i've said before uh, i created an animation to accompany tchaikovsky's nutcracker suite and that uh, normally goes on tour with an orchestra around this time of year this isn't happening this year, so I would, I thought, well, why not bring the animation to you here? So, you saw maybe Dance of the Merlitons um, uh, last time, so I thought I would bring you the miniature overture, and I've tried to make this as, Jonathan, as Christmassy as possible. I really have. Well, they, well they, yeah, we did Merlitons the other week, that was very, very Christmassy. So this is the miniature overture this mm -hmm. time, the piece that opens the whole ballet by Tchaikovsky before the story unfolds. Um, so it doesn't really have a, a story as such, does it? Well, no, uh, the, the suite doesn't, but it really does tie into the story of the Nutcracker, where we have basically a character called Drosselmeyer, who on Christmas Eve gives uh, a Nutcracker to uh, a character called Clara. Uh, and, and Clara lives with her brother in this house. And I just thought I'd include a few kind of links to that original story. So you might spot a few characters in this animation. Yes, so this is the Miniature Overture by Tchaikovsky, and we're going to do a version for harmonium and piano uh, with the world premiere of the new animation for it by Tom. Hope you enjoy it.
So there you go, the world premiere of Miniature Overture uh, with my own animation. And uh, yes, if you were wondering, yeah, I do create all the animations myself. Uh, I do all, lots of hand-drawn animation as well as traditional other types of animation, stop motion, etc. Uh, but that was everything you saw in that animation I had created uh, from my own imagination. Yeah, and it's very Christmassy to add that sort of element of all those different images, I think, so it's great. Hope and, that, uh, hopefully yeah. that's got you in a Christmas mood. And we get lots of questions as well, because uh, even though we, we try and explain everything as we go along and tell everyone, like, Tom does draw everything and create everything himself, uh, another question which often comes up is uh, the harmonium. Um, it is a harmonium in the real sense of the word, not a pump organ or American organ. It's a French instrument by Mustel, uh, made in 1904 in Paris. And this model was actually designed for the St. Louis exhibition um, for, that, for that year. Um, a sort of a very modern sort of style looking for, for different audiences of the day. So uh, yes, it is French. I do pump it all with my feet. If I didn't do, there'd be absolutely no sound. And it's a pressure instrument and it can go very, very, very loud and it's very expressive so I hope that helps explain it and we're going to carry on using it now in a couple more movements from we, the Nutcracker. Where we at? Jonathan what was that? Don't you imagine it? I think it, had, and... I think it was the Sugar Plum Fairy, that's <laughs> what I think it was anyway. Um, now why not play the Sugar Plum Fairy and really show off some more interesting sounds from well, yeah, well, your Mustel well, harmonium. Must, Mustel, I mean, who designed these harmoniums, um, it was one of his uh, descendants who invented the celeste, which is the piece of uh, the, the instrument which you hear in the Sugar Plum Fairy. And Tchaikovsky was the first person to use it uh, in a sort of a large scale way. It sounds like bells originally. Um, it, was, it was only designed about four years before uh, Tchaikovsky wrote the Nutcracker. And so this was its first outing really, and it's his most famous use of the celeste. So that's another Mustel invention. Oh, and Tom's yes. gonna play it on the piano, the celeste part, and I'm going to play the orchestral part on the harmonium and, and this is the part where the Sugar Plum Fairy appears and obviously dances uh, and following that we're going to go straight on to the Waltz of the Flowers. The Waltz of the Flowers of course, another another um, time to, to dance I suppose, um, so there you go but I think what I really like about the Waltz of the Flowers is it mentions flowers and you know that over the summer, not mentioning this again, <laughs> over the summer I went into my garden I filmed lots of flowers and I included them in our home concert. Um, there's then, so many you couldn't include them I all, I don't include think. Them all, and there are still some I haven't shown. So I thought, well, the Walls of the Flowers will be the perfect time for me to show those. So if that's okay, Jonathan, I'm Go going ahead. to do that. And I hope you enjoy seeing those as well. So this is Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy and Waltz of the Flowers from the Nutcracker by Tchaikovsky.
There you go. There you go. Well, you've never heard that on harmonium <laughs> and piano before. It gives it an extra sort of dimension, I think. But we like to play using real instruments. This is how instruments, you could have done this concert 100, 150 years ago with exactly the same sound of instruments. Very intimate. And for Christmas Eve, we thought it's very intimate to invite you to our home in this way because we often do concerts a little bit at home for friends and family and everything, yeah. don't we? So it's and nice so, to have you all yeah, here with we'd us. We never yes. get this many people into our music room, so it's lovely to have you here. Um, and of course, uh, as a result of that, sometimes people have sent us odd presents because it's Christmas, haven't they? They have. Um, um, I must have really been very, very good this year. You have been very good, I think. <laughs> so yes, uh, I'm sure you'll get lots of presents off Father Christmas. Um, but yeah, think? we uh, we received a little present from... Uh, we, we received one um, from Germany, and it, it's, it's lovely. I'll, I'll show you. Yeah. It's, it's, concerts a, on our it's, a, it's a snow globe. I've, I've never had a snow globe before, and this one's beautiful. It's of, uh, I hope you can see this, it's of Cologne Cathedral. I've been to Cologne Cathedral, John. Yes, you have. I've and never been, actually. No. I can tell you that it actually has the shrine of the three wise men in there. Very so good. that's Christmas, isn't it? Wonderful. <laughs> and, uh, you, you drew know, a picture of it as well, didn't you? I did draw a picture of... Uh, wherever we, we travel, sometimes I like to go out and sketch. And I did, I went, when I went to uh, Cologne Cathedral, I went outside and I, I was drawing it. Uh, and uh, I can show you the picture. I can, I can put the picture on. Yeah, magic. There you go. <laughs> and, and basically, I was drawing this. Uh, this, And, and then a, a man came up to me and he said, he looked at what I was doing and then he said, can I, can I borrow your pen? I need to fill in a form. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't lend him the pen. the great oh, artist. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for this. It looks really nice, and um, so we thought it'd be appropriate for the next piece, really. The Holy City, um, a Victorian ballad. I'm sure you know this. It's always sung at this time of year. Written the same year as The Nutcracker by um, Stephen Adams, is the composer's name. That wasn't his real name. It's actually called Michael Maybrick. Uh, born in England, um, went and was studied in Germany. He was an opera singer as well, so he sang in Italian opera houses, German ones, English ones, all in the late 19th and early 20th century. And he used to go around singing his own songs as well. And one of the ones that's the most famous is The Holy City. He sold millions and millions of copies of this. Very beautiful piece yeah. of music. And, then, and, and, uh, yeah, and, the, and the words for this, uh, they're, they're, they should be there. So I'm going to put those on the screen as well as we play it. And I know if you were here in our home with us now we would always have somebody humming or singing along <laughs> as we play a piece such as this such a well-known tune so um feel free to at the moment yes, because absolutely. you're at home we can't hear you go for it uh <laughs> someone's going to provide you with the words not quite karaoke but it's just i think it's a piece of music where the words have such a, a great meaning at this time of year and they're so beautiful and fit the music so well uh, and hopefully we'll try and reflect what's going yes. on in them. So we hope you enjoy this. This is The Holy City by Stephen Adams.
Well, I hope you enjoyed hearing that. Not sung, but <laughs> as harmonium and yeah, piano. Yeah, so it's a new arrangement. I yeah, like yeah, it. Yeah, no, it's good. good. It's, yeah, a great, nice. it's a great sort of Victorian piece, but very, very popular, and I'm sure many of you will have heard it and know it very, very well. And uh, it's very traditional to have that at Christmas, but there are other many traditional things which happen at Christmas, especially in this country. There are indeed. Um, well, one of the traditions, of course, is the Christmas cracker. Yes, well, uh, love them or hate them, uh, they appear every year. And usually <laughs> what happens is you have to pull them around the Christmas dinner table. Oh, here we go. And uh, here, here we go. Oh, well, well this, we're going to do one, one now. And then, and then um, it's a bit see too what close. happens. Here we go. Right, Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Well, that was terrible. It didn't even, it didn't even crack. It's supposed it, to pull it. it. There you go. That's, that's what they're supposed <laughs> to It never goes right, does it? Well, no, I'm... it doesn't. At least it didn't all fly on the floor. Uh, now, what's inside here? I won this one. Actually, we're going to um, actually. Oh, well, there you Can go. You read that Excellent, first, fantastic here. I'll now, usually up. there's a really terrible joke in in these. Um, well, the uh, idea is you get these and you wear your hat at Christmas dinner. I'll put absolutely. My I'll put my hat on. Wait, fix. There we go. That's nice. And there's a puzzle. Actually, put it. Put it away. Oh, sorry. There's a fashion there's advice. There's a little puzzle. puzzle. Fantastic. That's and great. usually around right. the Christmas dinner table, you have to wear your hat and people get very excited about whatever's in the cracker, be it a pair I'm, of tweezers or, 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 or a, li a little puzzle. I'll play with that later. That's great. And uh, Oh, and here's another one. Like... That was a little Tom's, bit better. Tom's and, messing uh, with than me. Yes. So. Absolutely. Oh, and and I, think, I, think, I think something has flown out over there. And here's the corny joke. How many letters... Are they in the alphabet at Christmas time? Come back into the shot, Jonathan. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How many, Tom? Uh, Only 25 because there's no L. Oh. Oh, it's almost as bad as one of yours. <laughs> painful. Painful Where did joke. Where your prize go? Well, I, I don't know because I need to go and find it. And, yeah. um, oh, it's there. It's there. Oh, good. Where's my hat? My hat. Yeah. Um, Oh, yeah, well, while Tom's doing that, I'll tell you a little bit about the next... Some, some screwdrivers. Some, perfect. And actually, very useful. Fix the harmonium later. Fantastic. Um, yeah, so that, that's what we do in this country. But we, the, the strange thing that we didn't know about Christmas crackers is that you have to be um, over 16 to buy them. You do indeed. Uh, you tried to buy some uh, the other <laughs> year. A couple of years ago, I tried to buy some Christmas crackers, and I was asked for ID, which I suppose is a compliment in many ways for my... Youthful looks. And, had a and very close shave that day. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, but we're going to play um, a, another traditional piece at Christmas now, Gisu Bambino by Pietro Yon. I'm not sure how appropriate the hats are, but we'll keep well, them I on. Well, I don't know. It's anyway. quite kingly. I like it. Is that what it's like? Okay. Um, Pietro Yon wrote this in the early part of the 20th century as a, a, a Christmas carol, and it's based on uh, the Adeste Fidelis, um, the O Come All Ye Faithful. So you get this. <laughs> Let us adore him all the way through, and that's the accompaniment which also provides the accompaniment to the melody he wrote. It's sort of a pastoral, very Italian in style, this dotted rhythm, uh, sort of uh, three, eight, six, eight, twelve, eight sort of style, lilting. Uh, it's sort of reminiscent of the shepherds on the hillside, and that's the sort of idea of pieces like this. Uh, very popular, especially in America, where uh, Jan was organist at St. Patrick's Cathedral, and uh, I've done a version for harmonium and piano with the resources we have. Um, um, while well, well, Tom reads you another joke, I'll prepare everything. How was the man who stole an advent calendar punished? He got 25 days. That's the way I tell them. Let's move on. Jay-Z Bambino. I'm sure it's what Jan would have wanted. <laughs>
it's uh, a really sort of relaxing and peaceful sort of pastoral piece. It's really nice and uh, it sort of suits this sound very well. I think uh, we've reached the end of this concert, unfortunately. Well, unfortunately I mean, uh, we can lose our hat maybe just for this, uh, just for the time I think being. we can have a hat upgrade. I think we can have a hat, but have a hat upgrade. So Jonathan, what have you got for us this year for the hat what upgrade? Well, like? oh, this is this is my more my style. Uh, a lovely elf hat, and uh, sometimes I'm, I'm known for, for wearing an elf costume, as, as you know, Jonathan. Right, hats on. That's better. Thank, it's fantastic. Better, isn't we'd it, like, I think. We, yeah, we, we definitely <laughs> like to thank everyone for watching uh, this evening, um, and we would like to wish you a very Merry Christmas, wherever you are, and it's wonderful that you've been able to share this small bit of it with us. This evening. Yeah, it's been great to share all the concerts all year with you, and it's uh, it's wonderful to do this one as well. It's a really nice sort of atmosphere. Nice. Uh, we like to have a bit of fun sometimes. You'll have noticed. Sometimes. Um, so this last piece is a particular one. You'll notice that all the things today were arranged and done. It's just it's just to make use of the resources we've got here today, and just to bring you some sort of concert on Christmas Eve, which you can sit and enjoy and listen. It might open to Christmas wherever you are. So a very happy Christmas, and we hope you have a wonderful. 2021 wherever you are in the world and uh we'll be bringing you more things in the new year absolutely we're we not sure what they are yet see because you in uh, the new year yeah. yes um and uh, to finish with the piece i that was about three or four years ago i wrote this now um we call it a christmas celebration lots of fun tunes um different pieces of music associated with christmas and a bit of fun near the end for you to watch out for but you won't miss it um it's a piano duet and uh we hope you enjoy this so absolutely we'll finish by saying Thank you for watching again. Have a, have a great Christmas. And this is... A Christmas Celebration. <laughs>